Hey, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. In this video, I want to quickly go over how you can make some really strong boosts that look something like this. And uh, these are mainly used for builds using Relic of the Pact, so we are able to fit in that extra abyss here uh, for even more life. Also some strength attribute for even, well, more life. And we also get immunity from poison from these boosts as well. The nice thing about this is that you can pretty much guarantee the stats on these boosts, uh, as you see it here, with just a couple of simple steps. So lean back, relax, and I go over the whole process from start to finish. So the first thing that we want to get is going to be a pair of fractured boots with the life on them and they need to be item level of 82 or more and item level is so we have a chance of getting that tier 1 of the strength attributes on the boots. Uh, the boots also need to be a armor base to guarantee the strength roll as well. If you're looking for another attribute you can change the base of the boots. Uh, for evasion you will get dexterity and energy shield for intelligence. And next we want to go and get ourselves four different fossils. And the first being a glyphic fossil so we can get a corrupted essence modifier. Which in this case is the essence of delirium one so we cannot be poisoned. And the second one is going to be the hollow fossil for the abyssal socket. And we also want to get the fundamental fossil for the attribute uh, which is in this case strength. And we also want sanctified fossil for a higher chance of getting a better attribute roll. And here we want to put them into a prime resonator and slam it on the boots. You want to repeat this process until you get cannot be poison on the boots, which is a 25% chance of hitting, so there is a little bit of energy involved, but the strength will always be there, and we don't have to worry about the prefixes at all. And next we want to craft suffix cannot be changed and if you don't have the craft you can find it at the end of the unique map Oba's Cursed Trove. But uh, once you do have it, do the suffixes cannot be changed uh, on the boots uh, and once you're done the craft you then want to go and use a Veiled Chaos Orb on the boots for the movement speed. And if you do get a open prefix here, you can go to the craft bench and you can craft maximum mana and this will block out most of the outcomes that we don't want and makes it so we get a higher chance of getting the movement speed. There's still a very small chance of not getting any of the movement speed rolls here, but if you would be so unlucky, you would then have to do the stuff that cannot be changed once again and use another Veiled Chaos Orb. And here you can either get uh, with increased movement speed if you haven't been hit, you can also get the chance to gain Onslaught on kill, or the least useful one with avoid being shield. And for the open prefix on the boots here I choose the hybrid life and armor roll, uh, and we're also finishing off the boots with colon recovery and also movement speed as the two last implicits. So there we go everyone, this has been a very quick guide on how you can get these boots for yourself. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. And if you got any tips on what you would call these kinds of boots, sound off in the comments as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!